I forgot that I'm supposed to do my second shot today. Oh my god. So yeah, I get to go home and do the shot again. Oh my god. <gasps> It is Monday and I forgot that I'm supposed to do my second shot today. Manny has already left for work and I am working. Obviously I'm working from home, but I forgot that I'm supposed to do my second shot today and Manny's already gone and I'm supposed to do it in the morning. So I'm gonna try to call him and see if I can get him back home for just a little bit to do the shot um, because I really don't think I'll be able to do it by myself. I know I won't be able to do it by myself. So I'm gonna see if I can get him back um, at some point today to do the shot, but it is Monday, day two of my shot and then Tomorrow I have my ultrasound for the mid-cycle update. I'll let you know if I get him back. Okay, Manny just got home, taking a quick little 15, and uh, hopefully this doesn't take 15 minutes like last time, but it's time. Okay, this time I'm ready. This time we got it. This time it's gonna be fine. No big deal. It's Not no big deal. deal big it's no big deal. Not a deal of bigness. No big deal. It ain't no big deal. It's fine. There ain't nothing much you can win. It's fine. It's fine. I'm serious with that. It's fine. There this is go. fine. More time, I believe you. It's fine. Cool. <laughs> I respect it. My fucking hands are already shaking. Hmm? No, I wanna I wanna do this stuff. Okay. Okay. So it's no big deal. It's no big deal. No big deal. So am I doing this or are you doing this? Oh, yourself? you're doing it. Okay, oh, cool, cool, sweet. I'm excited. Let me tell you how excited I am. It's already loaded. I'm not gonna pull it off until you tell until you say I'm ready. I'm just gonna leave I'm just gonna numb it a little bit. Let me just squeeze it. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Oh shit, we're going like that. <sighs> go ahead. Yep. <sighs> See these actions I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, what? I'm about to do it, you're like you know, I'm just kind of like, okay, am I going or am I waiting for another go? It's like, am I waiting for you to say go again? Let's do it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Oh my god. I know. <sighs> like right here, okay? Am I supposed to go forward? You tell me, I move that forward. The needle's bent. No, it's just I'm holding it at an angle. It's actually pretty straight, actually. How are you going to do it? Show me. Like I did last time. Show me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't go until you say something. I know, but you're not at the right height. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop, stop, stop. Let me count down. <sighs> Alright, do it. One, two, three. I hear you turning. One, two, three. One, two, three. You did great. You did great. <laughs> You did great, babe. <laughs> oh, your face is red. You look like a strawberry. You did great, babe. You did great. 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 I'm shaky. I know. Did it! You did do it. Good job, baby. I guess he was right. You're getting you to stop being afraid of him. No, I don't know if I ever stop being afraid of them, but I can at least take it a little bit easier. So that's all the medicine. Okay, <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I did it, the medicine is gone. I don't know if you can see it. I did it! <laughs> Good job, baby. Thank you, I did it! I'm so freaking proud of myself. <sighs> I did it! <laughs> I know that might seem silly to you guys, but like, that was big. That was a lot. <laughs> that was that was a lot. I feel strong. <laughs> I'm proud of you, baby. All right. Well, I feel like I have a headache. Like my energy, like adrenaline rush. Okay, I did it. Thank you, baby. I don't think I will be able to do those without you. I am officially up to date on my medicine now, oh, and um, tomorrow I have my mid-cycle ultrasound. So I go in tomorrow morning, do the mid-cycle, and then they tell me if the doctor thinks I need to go through with an IUI this round, or if he just wants to have time to this time. So we're gonna see more tomorrow, but now I gotta get back to work. Good morning. 
it is time for my mid cycle ultrasound. I am on my way now. I think we're probably just gonna do timed. I've already tried an IUI and I think I wanna try these medications, like the injections, uh, with just timed to see like what happens because we've never, never done injectables with just timed before. I've never done injectables, period. So today I think I find out if I need a trigger shot. We get to discuss what our next steps are gonna be. I'm ready, I'm excited. I'm still so pumped that I did my shot yesterday without like crying about it. So that makes me feel excited and hopeful that I got this, you know, like I got this. Anyway, I'm on my way and I'll see you whenever we get there. your right ovary small well bigger really small here small there small there a little bigger here a little bigger there small small so you've got bigger there so you've got a few so these are the ones that i point out and said are bigger mm -hmm. correct and lots of smaller ones in the background let's measure one of these larger ones you want to take a guess about how big it is mm, 12. Mm, that's a good guess i think it's in the closer to 10 or 11 but well, let's see 10.3 10.3 but this is still mid-cycle, right? So you're still, still early. Grow. You're still early. Okay. And this is only one over. Oh, oh we, yeah. We, when we look at the other side, and it may be, you know, significantly different. And we'll look, see, they're bigger on this side right off the bat. You can yeah, tell. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. That, that one's bigger. That one's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that one's like 13, almost 14 probably. So in all likelihood, that's the one that's going to... Mature probably. Mature. You see, you've got that larger one, and then the other ones are smaller. Yeah. They look good. Um, waiting in the consultation room now and they're gonna talk to me afterwards i think i might have to do some more injections but we'll see what he says good they're growing they're getting bigger oh okay what a whirlwind it was very busy this morning but i was able to be seen i just got out of my appointment that's a lot okay so i have a thin lining well thinner than what he wants to see it as right now it's measuring at like a 4.3 and they usually like to see it measuring at about a seven so he ordered the prescription for a oh gosh i forget the hormone estrogen suppository so um i start doing that i don't remember i don't think he told me when i'm supposed to do that or when i'm supposed to start that but he ordered it for me so i've got to go pick that up at my pharmacy later i have the rest of my injection i'm gonna do today 112 i use and then tomorrow i'm gonna do the rest of the medicine whatever whatever is in the syringe what he told me was that we can try to do an iui this round or we can just do timed and what he was saying is that whenever we were with our other doctor he saw on the um the medical history that i sent over that manny had a little bit of like um not mobility but the form like the shape of his sperm was a little different so the morphology is what they call it and that that might have been like a contributing factor as to why you know it didn't work as successfully as they thought it would would have but um he said that from everything that he did on this time like at their clinic they did another analysis for him that his sample looks amazing now so the supplements and everything have been working so he's he's not even concerned that that the morphology is going to be an issue this time so what he was saying is that um sorry i had to honk my horn because the guy in front of the guy didn't go so anyway what he was saying is that this first thing he wanted to do an iui and i was like you know we can do an iui but i kind of would prefer to not right now i think what we're gonna do is just do time to this cycle and then if it doesn't work out maybe then move into an IUI or possibly not doing an IUI and just doing this medication with timed I'm under the bridge again <laughs> the difference in either timed or IUI is like very very small I'm so sorry for this ridiculous lighting I'm driving and my camera just doesn't know what to do Okay, that's a little bit better. Anyway, he was saying that the, the, the difference is very small when it comes to IUI, that like all of the factors that we have going on right now, that it's not gonna be like a terribly large difference. So he felt comfortable with just doing time to this round and then, I don't know, he wants to do this at least two times. I think what I might just talk to him about is just foregoing an IUI and just doing the medication and having timed and then seeing where we get with it because 
the IUI was extremely difficult. I'm just nervous for the IUI because it was very painful last time. But we shall see. At least I have a clear vision for this round, what's gonna happen. I do have to do two more shots. I have to do estrogen suppositories. And then we didn't talk about a trigger shot. I forgot to ask him about that. As of right now, we're on the right path. Things are looking good. Things are things are moving right along. Okay, I just talked to Manny and I forgot that I'm supposed to take my shot today and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go home and go back to work. But I forgot the shot, hello. So he's actually in between calls right now so he is gonna be able to do the injection today whenever I get home and then I'll go back to work. <laughs> so I just wanted to let you know that I forgot but he reminded me, he's like, oh, okay, cause I'm home and I'll be able to do the shot. And I'm like, oh crap, that's right, the shot. So yeah, I get to go home and <laughs> do the shot again. But it's okay, it'll all be worth it and I'm excited about it. So <sighs> see you at home for the shot. <laughs> Look at her as like a dang crow. Only one way to get over it is to just face it head on. He did say we'll get you past it. <laughs> yeah. It's not gonna make it easy. It doesn't it's not like it's easy, right? Hold that. <sighs> Let me know when you're ready. I will disengage the safety. Okay. Are we counting or just go right in? No, I need you to count always. Alright. Hold on. We line up first. Let me see where I want to go. All right, ready? One. Hold on, hold on, let me count, let me count. Okay, one, two, three. I'm going. One, one two, three. Look at that, you did it! First day you cried, second day you're like, Ugh! third day you're like, I did it! Ow. Silly girl. You're strong. <sighs> it is getting easier, still but sucks. it's still like, ugh, makes me like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, it still sucks. It's getting easier, but it still sucks. Yeah. Oh no, yesterday I was so nauseous. I can't imagine what today's gonna do to me. However, today you, you, but you, you took it earlier in the day. You it's do very tender. Honestly, you're supposed to be doing the other side. I was doing the other side. I was doing this side. Why does it hurt so bad? We put it in the same spot three times. <laughs> we should have done the other side, honestly, but you know, I was going with whatever you give me. Ugh. I'm going All right, so now it is time for breakfast and I'm going to work and then, and then I have an appointment on Thursday. Did I tell you that? I have an, a follow up Thursday, but all right, work time. So my doctor just called and um, told me that my prescription has been sent to the pharmacy and that I can go pick it up and I am gonna start estrogen today. So later tonight I'll start the estrogen um, suppositories and then I even asked about the trigger shot. He's basically like, oh, you're thinking ahead, I like it. I was like, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna need it. He's like, actually, yeah, you will need it. So yeah, I have the trigger shot that's going to be outsourced pharmacy. I don't know how exactly it's called, but basically they just send it to you from like mail order. So that's gonna be sent to me. And then the estrogen is already at the pharmacy and I'm gonna start that today. And then I have the follow-up on Thursday. I'm very tired today. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I am tired. That shot, I don't know if it's because it's FSH or not, but yesterday I was extremely nauseous. Um, the day before I was kind of nauseous, but yesterday's shot made me like really, really nauseous. Today I'm not terribly nauseous, but I'm tired. Like I'm really tired. Like you can hear it in my voice. I'm tired. Like I could probably lay down and go to sleep and I've got a little bit of brain fro frog. <laughs> A little bit of brain fog. I'm trying to do my work I'm in the office and it's just not happening today. It's just not. So I'm trying to focus, but I figured I would give you guys the update that he just called and we got the plan. So yeah, I'll check in a little later. All right, I am off of work finally. I uh, did talk to my doctor. He called, I think I might've already vlogged that actually. But the latest and greatest update is that the pharmacy called me and um, went ahead and got my trigger shot uh, ordered. So that should be here tomorrow between eight to eight, $139 later, but it's fine. I was also thinking about this round trying Mosey. It's too late to order now. I should have, I 
I should have done it earlier, but I'm thinking about possibly doing a CVS run. Not today, but they have Mosey in CVS now. So yeah, I'm thinking about possibly going and picking one up because there is just going to be such a delay for shipping um, right now because of everything that's going on. So, uh, but if I don't get it, he, the doctor told me that, you know, IUI is here and just timed is like right here. So it's gonna be okay. But anyway, that's the latest update. I've got the medication already on order, so it should be here tomorrow. I do have to take another shot tomorrow. And then we are actually about to go up to CVS, I mean, Walgreens. Actually, they never called me and told me my prescription was ready. I should call them. I'm gonna call them first and hope to God they have my prescription because I can't deal with another repeat of last time. Let me call them. <laughs> So I'm glad I called because apparently something happened like the last time. Again. Again. They couldn't find a prescription for me on file. So I'm waiting to talk to a representative because that was the automated system that told me that. So we will have to see. Okay, so I spoke with the pharmacist and they don't have my prescription on file. Like there's no prescription for me whatsoever. So uh, we're gonna try to call tomorrow and see if we can get them to send it over. But as of right now, I have no prescription on file. So that's fun. Love that for me. Right now I'm playing with my ring light. I'm about to film a uh, catch up vlog, but you guys are pretty much in real time now, but this is going to be going up. Oh, good Lord. This is going to be going up for Christmas updates. This vlog, by the time you guys are seeing this, is completely up to date, but I need to film a update for Christmas and everything that happened. That's what I'm going to try to film now to catch you guys up. But for this vlog, I will probably update it tomorrow with what I find out from the uh, doctor with the pharmacy. It is time again for another shot. The last one though of these kind of shots until I have to get my trigger shot. Oh, I gotta call the pharmacy today, I can't forget. But doctors, 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 yeah, 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 doctors. So let's do this one. It's the final one for the FSH. I'm nervous, of course, but I got this. Do I just go or do I wait for a word? I count. Remember, like, right yeah. over here. Okay. Is there a safety word? No. Mine's peaches. All right. One. I'm backing up. Two. Three. Am I going? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. One, two, three. It stopped me at this point, so you're, it's all out. They did it again. You did do it again. Proud of you, baby. All right. So officially done with the FSH. That was the last bit. So today was less than what I've been doing for the IUs, but it's exactly what the doctor told me to do. So I'm not worried about it, but I do have to call them today because I still don't have estrogen suppositories. They, they didn't put it in for the pharmacy. So I've got to call them today to start that, but yeah. And then if Manny by some miracle happens to go across a CVS, maybe and i'll tell him if it's got a mosey kit now it's work time and i'll let you know how it goes with the doctor and the pharmacy oh good afternoon i am off of work and i got a package this is the package i've been waiting for not me let's open it together okay you're balancing very precariously please don't fall uh, uh, uh. i might need scissors probably the receipt this is telling me about what it is. It is Pregnil, 10,000 units. Boom. We got, oh my God, they hand wrote my name. How cute is that? It is very cute. So Tiffany, you are so much more to us than just a patient. Thank you for trusting SMP Pharmacy to be part of your fertility journey. We support you, stand by you, and are here for you for anything you need. Sending you all the best. Oh, thank you. That was nice. Ooh, what is that? Mini sharps, use as directed. Oh, this must be where I put the needle after it's done. How interesting. What? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. So this looks like alcohol wipes. Very nice. 
This is the injection itself. This is the medicine. Oh no. It's a regular syringe. This is the syringe. I'm gonna take it out and look at it. Oh my God. You can't do it. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Look at this needle. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> What? Why couldn't it be a pin? It lit it literally is a vial that I have to stick the needle. Oh my god. And do the thing and then do the thing. Mm. That sucks. Is at least a thin needle? Come to see it, Nanny. Let me see. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Please tell me this is for your butt. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just. Stick with your first instinct. Holy shit. Oh my god. I was all excited, like, I can do the shots. Well, what do you say? What, this is to get me over my fear of needles? Yup. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Luckily, I have my doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I think what I might do is ask him if there's another way to take it. I mean, I've already paid for this now, but if maybe there's like a pin or something that a I might be able needle. to get, a smaller needle perhaps, something. Okay, well, we unbox that. Um, I'm pretty sure that shot is gonna be supposed to be given to me on Sunday. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them if they have anything else and I may even do like some Amazon research to see if there's like Something that I can buy um, because I've heard that like for IVF and stuff that there are like certain Pins that you can buy to like help the injections and stuff so might look into that because wow I thought the first needle was bad for tonight. I do have to go pick up the estrogen tablets They're ready at the pharmacy. So I'm about to leave to go do that They finally got the prescription in from the doctor the doctor apparently hit save instead of submit I see a reoccurring issue happening here that I'm gonna have to stay on top of the next time I see you guys It will probably be tomorrow morning on the way to the doctors Good night